Hey, what's up? This is CK with Modern Modern Media, and today we're gonna dive into Logic Pro's drummer. And uh, I'm always gonna boast and rant and rave about how great I think the software is. I'm gonna show you how I achieve my drum sounds. Uh, and yeah, so let's not waste any time. Let's dive right in. Logic Pro. Uh, so we'll do something fast for our example purposes, so that way we have something entertaining to listen to. And of course, sample rate always goes as high as your computer can handle, because the higher your sample rate, think of it like a big hamburger. If you're in a low sample rate and that's a small hamburger, at the end when it's compressed, if you squish that hamburger down, not, I mean, there's nothing special about it, but if you have like the egg and the bacon and jalapenos on the hamburger and you still squish that down and take a bite, that's still a good hamburger. Same thing exists for your file. You still want it to be a really good file. Uh, so bigger you can go, the better. And all right, so we're gonna dive right into drummer here. And there's a lot of stuff that we're not gonna be able to go over just because of time, because I want this to be a quick video. We'll see how quick I can make it. Um, so this software is incredible. The software, literally you can make any single drum track and any drum sound that you want. But hey, CK, I can't do that because this is all I get is this like yellow bar stuff. And you know, when I click this, like all it does is give me the fills and stuff that I, you know, move over here. No, yeah, uh, that's how it starts. But trust me, there's so much customization you can do to this right here that uh, you can achieve any, if you have a weird time, time signature and weird hits in your song, you can add that in. It's just gonna, you have to be patient and you have to get through. So the first thing you wanna do is lay out your whole drum track that's accommodating to the song that you're composing. Second thing you wanna do is, well, I, probably this should be the first thing. Go to your settings tab. I prefer to have all my settings and parameters stay the same when adding new drum sets or adding new uh, layers because then you don't have to keep modifying uh, the settings that you already found and you like. So after you do that, step number two is pick a drum kit. Very important. If you wanna really step up your game on the drum sample level, don't just select one of these kits over here. Like the East Bay kit is one of my favorite kits. Um, but look over here on the, on the mixing panel on this individual track. Like, uh, we don't have any control over it. I mean, yes, we could go up here and, excuse me, we could go over here and we can control the kick and the snare uh, velocities, like the just the volume. That is it. You know, a little bit of compression, whatever. This is not how you achieve awesome drum sounds. Go down to your producer kits. And now when you click on like the East Bay kit, for example, look at that. You've got this carrot and you click it. Look at all of our drum customization we have. So like I said, we don't have time to get into this, but this is where you're gonna go through, you're gonna make modifications to your mix where you're gonna actually like, I like to, I like to grab everything like this and I like to drop it all the way down. And then, you know, when I'm playing in a particular drum track, I start with the kick. I don't know why that's doing that right now. Holy cow, okay. And as you can hear, there's two, two different types of kicks. So obviously one would be more of like the, the beater side and one would be the resonant side of the head. Um, either way, but this is what I'm saying. You can get to crazy, custom, oh shoot, crazy customizations uh, with your sound that way. And that's what I highly recommend. So after you go through and you made all your mixes, and sorry, what happened there? I was just trying to undo to get back to our our standard setting and I went too far. But, um, so after you make all your adjustments here and you're like, oh, okay, that, those drums, now we're cooking, now we're cooking with oil. Um, my next step is to then, I like to go here below the compressor that's already on just the full kit and make sure you are on the full channel. So if you notice, everything is bus to here. Uh, the bus is busing to bus two, which is our main kit. This is where you're gonna throw on one of the fantastic plugins uh, Logic offers, the Multipressor. And this is a multi-band compressor where you can actually allocate compression to just certain bandwidths on the EQ. Uh, and this creates a really, really sweet uh, customization to your sound yet again. But, dude, factory presets that come with this are really stellar. My favorite one, and I pretty much religiously use, is this Hi-Fi Drums. Now listen to the difference. We're gonna turn off the plugin real quick. Here's our drum. And take a listen when this gets turned off. Now, 
I know when it comes to watching videos and the sound correlation is not the same as what I'm hearing out of my monitors, but trust me, apply it for yourself and you're gonna realize, oh, that is sick. And, and then of course you come in and like increase certain channels. Watch your clipping over here though. If you clip over here, just drag your main uh, output parameter down. This slider is gonna save you a lot of distortion in the end. And that's whether you're using it on drums, guitar, mastering, whatever. What have you? Oh, guess what? CK, you can't leave that on. Here we go. Okay, so that is a step two or three or whatever we're on right now. Um, now when you finally laid out your full track and you're like, but CK, I still wanna know how do I make those in particular hits? This is how you do it. Click just the main channel header over here. And that way it's gonna highlight the entire uh, drum track that you've created. Just right click on, side the, or on top of the drum track and go to uh, convert to MIDI region. And now we, and one more other thing you wanna do real quick, go ahead and join these regions together because if you need to extend something because a fill lasts a little bit longer or you make a change, if you increased one of these segments over here and added more drum fills, it ends up mucking up your, uh, the rest of your drum channel that you have. So just a good practice, go ahead and join it together. Uh, and now when you double click and you go into the piano roll, we've got this really sweet uh, bunch of colorful MIDI dots. And I guess they're more like MIDI squares. Um, so let's make an example real quick. Let's say all of a sudden you're just like, you know what, dude, no, no hi-hat at all. Let's get rid of that. You can select all these bad boys and do that. Um, and now this is what we have. But let's say you wanted to add something ridiculous with kick drum. Say we wanna copy it. Now let's go here and paste it. Now listen to what we have. It's actually kind of cool, but that is a small tidbit of how you actually make that drum track work for you. So what you do is you lay out the basic parameter and that's your template. And now is when you go in with the scalpel and the surgery. And this is another very useful tool is, uh, let's get from the pointer tool down to the velocity tool. And then this is where you have control over in particular hits. Like if you didn't want you know, certain snares to be so loud, you can bring those down. So just painting an example, I'm not super happy about what we have made here, but that's still just an example. Okay, wait, we've got an awesome drum sound. So that's great, that's it, right CK? No, dude, check this out. We're gonna add one more thing. Go to adding another track and not drummer, software instrument, create. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here and we're gonna pick another drum kit. So remember, drum kits, producer kits, so that way we have like customization and uh, let's, I don't care, roots. Let's do roots. Now, what you wanna do, click your channel header for that in particular track, the drum track. We're gonna copy it. Make sure your playhead is at the beginning of where your drum track begins. Now make sure your next drum track is selected and hit paste. And now we've got a double whammy drum set. So think of it like a guitar. You know, if you're gonna layer guitar or vocals, why not do it with drums? A lot of people just wouldn't do it because when it comes to a live drum set, uh, it would be very hard to exactly match up all those hits. But the beauty of Logic is that's the exact same drum, drum part, just twice. And now what we can do, and the way that I like to do it, let's go ahead and put on that multi-presser, the hi-fi drums to this channel as well. Uh, and sometimes it doesn't need it, but like I said, I like to use it because I like my drums to have a lot of hit to them. Um, and now check this out. So we'll drop this down. Turn this down a little bit. Oh, sorry. And so yeah, like I said, this is all painting for example, but that right there is how you create a really, really sweet, awesome, awesome drum track. Um, a couple things to keep in mind when you're working on any song, and this is just uh, my little two cents to you, is that 
Um, if you're out in public somewhere and you hear music off in the distance, what are the three main things that you always hear? And if you haven't asked yourself this question, go, next time you're out, take a, just take a listen. And those three typical things you're gonna hear are gonna be the bass, the snare drum, and the vocals. And since the snare drum is one of the more predominant things you can hear from a distance, you need to make sure that your snare drum is nice and up. And that's why you want those producer kits is because you'll be able to add EQ, uh, different compression, compressors to the parameter to really make it punch and stand out. And like I said, just keep an eye on your clipping. That's the only thing you really wanna worry about. But there we go. That's a quick dive into uh, a drummer tutorial. Obviously there's a lot you can do with it there, but yeah. Have fun, and yeah, if you have other suggestions of uh, how you do your drum tracks, or you know, if something's gonna take me to the next level, I'm always down to learn. That's what this whole game's about. So thanks for watching, guys. This is CK with Modern Modern Media, and we'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.